What's up? I'm Sheila Matthews. And I'm Martinzi Johnson. And welcome to a special Thanksgiving edition of Logged In. Let's get into the show. So first up, we're going to play a game of Over Under. Our producers found four locations you can buy a turkey from. They'll give us a random number and we'll have to guess if it's more or less than the number given. So here's store number one, Boston Market. Over or under $73? Does it come with sides? Just the turkey, sadly. Just, mm, inflation makes me believe over. I will say over as well. I, I believe the Boston Market is an elite. I love the video, so I'm gonna go with that. Boston don't Market and elite don't usually go together, but yeah. Teach. Yeah, they really don't because the actual price is $59. And That's reasonable. And if you charge more, it'll be okay. Yeah. I, I think it's probably gonna be that good. So store number two, ooh, it's KFC. Over or under $57? Well, if I know that Boston Market is 59, it's believable that KFC is less than that. So I'm gonna go with less. Yeah, under. I'm gonna go with under that too. Sadly, you are wrong again. Mm. KFC got real bougie on us at 79. What? If you spend eighty dollars at KFC in any capacity, you might have some problems. Well, there we go, because Popeyes is up next for their online price for their turkey. Because our producers told us that it's a different price in store versus online. Is it over or under forty nine dollars online for Popeyes? Well, I'm gonna use context clues again because okay. they keep emphasizing online, so that makes me think that it has to be cheaper than KFC even though Popeyes, I think, is higher quality than KFC. So I'm gonna go under, because this feels like a trick question. I'm gonna go over. Sheila, you are correct, uh, because Popeyes got even more bougie. Their online version is $94. The $49 is actually the price of the in-store. Oh, so to reserve, you get the pleasure of paying more? Yeah. Huh. Makes sense, all right. <laughs> Oh, the next is, is my mom's personal favorite to buy our stuff from for Thanksgiving, Honey Baked Ham Company. So over or under $61? I'm batting over three years. So I'm gonna say over $61. I too am gonna say over. They're another quality place in my opinion. Feels like a trick though, it's gonna be under. Right? Martinzi, in baseball, you know, if you go one for four, you can get millions of dollars and you and just went one for four, it's actually $65. Wow, Martinzi, are you sure you haven't bought a turkey from some of these places before? Never bought a turkey in my life. We'll unpack that on the next episode, but right now all this food talk has got me hungry. So for this next segment, we're going to be eating two Thanksgiving themed foods and giving our honest opinions. Our first item is the gobbler bowl from Wawa. Ready? Never been to a Wawa, so I'm very interested in. Martinzi. It's not uh, something you can find in the Midwest, I don't think. No, like KFC used what? to have a bowl where they just threw everything in there, so. Oh, I, uh, see, I see all my food touching. You don't like that? I No, I'm not a fan of like the, it just, ooh. I'm not a, it all goes to the same place type of person. Like, it can get there separately. So we got a little stuffing action. We got turkey, uh, mashed potatoes, and gravy, it looks like. You go first. I'm not your guinea pig, so. <laughs> okay. You can go first. Do it happen. at the same time. Yeah, that's a, that's a good. <laughs> it's not half bad. It's really not bad. It's got your typical, you know, unmelanated uh, blandness to it, but I can work with it. Is this making it to your Thanksgiving table? Hell no. Mm -mm. But no. Have you tried the turkey yet? Uh, I yeah. haven't. You, you know I'm a little scared. I'm not gonna lie. Tastes like turkey. What, Overall, it's not half bad. What is your rating out of ten? Two ratings. If I'm not hungry, I would give this a five. Mm -hmm. But if I'm hungry, it's probably a 10. I feel like I have to at least give it a five. I've taken like four bites at this point. So anything yeah. below that, I, I, yeah. But if you try to give me this on Thanksgiving day, it's probably a zero. Okay, it was it was a little good, Martinzi. It was like Thanksgiving in a bowl. It was seasoned. No mac and cheese, but it's a start. And we got turkey and sides for less than $69. Nice. Item number two is the Popeye's Cajun style Turkey, which we just so happen to have one. Yes. Martinzi, this is giving me like. We got it. We got it. <laughs> major just flashback vibes of the Thanksgiving that my mother decided to 
get one of these Popeyes Cajun style turkeys. And she also didn't know, like our producers, that you have to thaw it for 72 hours. So imagine That's our not thaw. excitement. It's, I can't say it's thawed. Yep. Yep. And that was me on the Thanksgiving Day table too. And she brings it home and puts it down and she looks at me like, we're not gonna have a turkey this Thanksgiving. And then she has to explain that she got it from Popeyes and it wasn't thawed. So all of that to say, you gotta buy these well in advance. Um, not necessarily, not Sheila. What you can do is go outside, get you a big pot, put a bunch of oil in it, put some fire under it, just throw that sucker in there. Nothing bad is gonna happen if you do that. Martinzi, Trust me. this is like the fire marshal's gonna shut us down. That's against like everything you're supposed to do when frying a turkey. I've never bought a turkey before, so I didn't know that. Really? No, I knew that, but that was part of the joke, Sheila. Okay, sorry. <laughs> well, it looks like you gotta buy these well in advance because it's not fully cooked. So, you know, if you're watching this video right now, you have one in your freezer, pause it. Pause it, we'll be right here, we'll wait for you. And just go take that out so your family doesn't experience my Thanksgiving three years ago, okay? <laughs> All right, let's play a special edition of One's Gotta Go that we like to call Leave It At Home. So, our options are dressing, mac and cheese, candy yams, or collard greens. Martinzi, which one stays at home? You know, this is difficult because all four are great, all four are staples of a Thanksgiving feast. So I'm gonna have to get technical here. And collard greens are the third place of the kind of three that you think of, which is mustard, turnip, and collard. I put, no? I put mustard and turnips at the top so uh, we can get the collard greens up out of here. Martinzi, do you eat, like, what, what's your vegetable gonna be? The candied yams. That doesn't count as a vegetable when it's candied. What's the ingredients of candied yams? Do you want me to start with the sugar or the glaze? Like, where do we want to start here? Or What's the, the third one? The butter. Fourth. More sugar. Fifth. Eventually, I... you get the yams, and that's <laughs> the vegetable right there. So you're good. Well, we see what Martinzi's Thanksgiving diet consists of. And in the spirit of Thanksgiving, we found some Thanksgiving-specific tweets that we've seen on our timeline, and we're going to react to them. Here's tweet number one. Petition to change the Thanksgiving bird from a turkey to a rotisserie chicken. No. No. Now, if it's Peruvian rotisserie chicken, now you have my ear. <laughs> I just feel like I'm like traumatized from childhood when like your mama come home and be like, dinner for the next week and it's a rotisserie chicken. It's $5, Sheila. It is, tastes is like it's $5. No. Tweet number two, Sheila. Gen Z has officially renamed Thanksgiving to It's Giving. Say Period. It. There you go. Period. Okay, tweet number three says, y'all in his DM, I'm gonna be at the Thanksgiving day table. I've been in a Thanksgiving day table or two rotation in my life. I, I just, that doesn't mean much. Here this year, next year, uh, next table. Yeah, I've been pretty consistent in this. Uh, I, I can't relate. Black love, we love to see it, right? As for me, I'm prepping for my, <laughs> my next table this year. So tweet number four says, Friendsgiving is a top tier concept. I get to eat a low vibrational plate without consuming generational trauma. Slow clap. Thank you. I get to, to pack all my food up, talk to my friends about fun stuff. I don't have to answer the questions like, are you dating? What are you doing for work? How's this? How's life? Have you invested in your 401k? I can just eat and be merry and just concentrate on making my food not touch. Yes. <laughs> Even though Martinzi and I are both black, our Thanksgivings can be totally different. So to see the difference, we've put together a list of highly discussed questions about the black Thanksgiving experience. So Martinzi, are you a 5K family or are you a going for a walk with my cousin's family? Uh, I'm one of the few people in my family who actively work out, so we're definitely not a 5K family. Uh, and that other thing, I don't do that, Sheila, so I don't know what they're talking about. Well, as for me, I'm, I'm always going to take a walk before the, before the plates touch down, you know? Get a little fitness in. Get fitness, fellowship, catching up. Inspiration. Breathing exercises. Breathing exercises. I'm a good Christian man. I wouldn't know anything about that, Sheila. So, Martinzi, do you mm. eat dinner at 2 p.m. or 6 p.m.? 7 p.m. That's on the, the only right answer. Eight if you really house hopping, you know? <laughs> so, if someone ruins this dish, dinner is ruined. What dish would that be? It's gotta be the mac and cheese. I agree. I love mac and cheese, but I'm a pie person, too. What type of pie, Sheila? Sweet potato pie. Oh, Martinzi, this one is, this is for you. You need me to get your soapbox? Damn it, Where, did you ask her? <laughs> you took it. Anyway, is the proper term dressing or stuffing? 
Now, I need my black people to understand that for the longest, we've been conditioned to believe that stuffing is the work of the devil. It is not, actually, because unbeknownst to some of you, stuffing is inside of dressing. So they are essentially one and the same. So when someone says stuffing or dressing, it's basically the same thing. Just eat them both. Okay, well, Martinzi, it's been a pleasure, as always. Um, tell the people where they can find you on social media to talk about this stuffing versus dressing debate. Yeah, the debate rages on. On Twitter, uh, at 10ZJohnson, on Instagram, at MartinziJ. And you can find me on Instagram at ToldByDotShe and Twitter at ToldByShe. And remember, follow us on all platforms at Anscape. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, and let us know in the comments what we should talk about on the next show. Bye, y'all.